having more of a productive day. I usually do all my cleaning and stuff on Mondays because it's Monday and it just makes more sense. Yesterday it was a Brazil game, so that just wasn't gonna happen. There was so much going on. We start celebrating at 9 in the morning, even though the game's at 2 p.m. So today we have a lot on our schedule. I'm gonna start with some planning, and I wanna show you guys this notebook that I got in Korea. It's so cute. I got it at Artbox, um, in case you're curious. I came back from Korea early October, and I haven't been able to use this because... I'm sorry, look how cute this is. Here's why I didn't it says 2023 but like you know how 2023 planners usually are like 2022 2023 so i thought it would start in july and then go until 2023 it starts in december i'm gonna start using it and it comes with little stickers let's unbox them together also i was yelling so much at yesterday's game that my throat is tricking me into thinking i'm sick we have a little bestie one. Oh, i'm assuming this is like a little birthday one i haven't woke up January genuinely tired in a really long time for some reason i think i'm gonna make a little matcha just to jumpstart my day a little bit um and maybe make some breakfast i'm gonna write in my little diary and then catch up with everything i have to do you guys i can't do this right now i've just vacuumed my room i have this entire box and you guys know my closet and i are not we're not ever on good terms there's never space in my closet for anything for black friday i bought so many pairs of socks i have these and then i have two other ones here you guys keep in mind black friday was two weeks ago we're gonna start with this not that it would be easier but maybe it'll be better i got distracted with the world cup game because they went into penalties the adrenaline rush is just insane i now have this Huge box of clothes to put away. Lunch 
I've got some chicken teriyaki and shrimp tempura. And then it comes with some sashimi. It's actually a really good lunch special. This is where we usually buy gifts for Ollie. most likely because I haven't done my skincare routine. So recently I'm back on my vitamin C craze, so I currently use these two. While it's drying, I'm gonna use this. Recently I've been massaging my skin a lot more. I kind of have to, especially around this area because of my wisdom teeth surgery. I still do not have a sensation here. I'm gonna double moisturize. And then my last step is some sunscreen. editing what's supposed to be vlogmas 3 and i'm not happy with it i don't like it i'm gonna try editing it a little more and see if i will put it up i just like i don't ever want to put out a boring video and this video is feeling a little boring to me i don't know if you guys have noticed but i've been decreasing my caffeine contact content i've been decreasing my caffeine consumption a lot since korea and there's a valid reason why it's honestly been kind of crazy because i wake up not tired guys like i'm not used to that slowly graduate gradually i'm slowly building up to have celsius again before my workouts so it's also a lot of caffeine um basically i feel like that's so not like me and it, it really isn't it's just for context i had a panic attack um a month ago over a month ago i think it's been over a month um and i kind of don't do anything that would stimulate that feeling i don't know and she was not fun so um i read this one book it's called dare but i saw it on tiktok from Brittany furlan she like deals with panic attacks too and if you deal with anxiety especially panic attacks that book was so good so i'm slowly introducing caffeine back into my life to me more i love coffee because i just like love making it i love having that little routine i love how it tastes but today is one of my days where i am just so exhausted and i'm so upset that this video is not what i want it to be 